Hi everyone, this is Becky here on Becky Budgets. Um, this channel is about anything and everything that has to do with budgeting and hopefully getting out of $69,000 worth of debt in order to possibly buy our first home within the next five years. If that sounds like anything you might be interested in, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you hit that notification bell below, um, you'll be notified of any content that I post. Let's go ahead and get started. This week has been quite the week. <laughs> so just a quick recap. Anytime I use green, it's for anything that is budgeted or comes out of an envelope. Anything that is pink is anything that is unbudgeted. I use yellow for no spend days and orange is for any unexpected income, but we don't use that one very often. So let's go ahead and go back to my husband's payday last week, which was the 19th of May. On that day, we had a no spend. So that's good. Now on Friday, I really could not be bothered. I'll be honest with you. It was just a rough day at work. Um, my husband went ahead and picked up um, some beer for his uh, night of streaming. And then, oh, sorry, that actually came out of our miscellaneous budget. So that should be green. Um, I was the culprit this week in spending unbudgeted money. I um, was craving a soda and I went down to our vending machine. That soda cost me $1.90. And for dinner that night, we went ahead and had McDonald's, which came out of our eating out budget. And that cost us $20.27. Now on Saturday, we went to my husband's best friend's birthday party. Uh, we ended up spending $30.91. I scrounged up all the money that we had in our, left in our eating out and in our miscellaneous to go ahead and fund that. Now on Sunday, it was grocery day. So I went ahead and spent $90.29 on our groceries this week. It was a little higher, but it was one of those weeks where I bought a lot of meat um, because I follow the sales ads. So I did get some meat this time. Now, um, Amazon was the purchase that I made from our vacation fund. Um, our butane actually ended up costing $38.18. Saving grace on that is that I uh, went ahead and uh, took that right out of that fund. And then I spent a dollar and eight cents at McDonald's for a drink. Um, that did come in as budgeted uh, because I took that out of uh, miscellaneous. So uh, just, I don't know if I've shared this before, but usually when I go to the grocery store in order to keep me from buying things that I don't need, I will uh, buy myself a large soda from McDonald's, which usually will curb my appetite enough to not buy things that aren't necessary. On Monday, we went ahead and had a no spend day. Tuesday was actually a pretty rough day. So I ended up um, breaking a molar. It was my 12 year old molar and I ended up going to the dentist. Turns out that I am a tooth grinder and I have a lot of dental work that's going to be needed within the next couple months. Um, she mentioned I need two crowns and then she's going to need to 
um, fill in with filling another tooth uh, right next to the one that I broke, which is also cracked, but she can save. So I didn't have to pay anything up front and I'm waiting for them to call my insurance company for pre-authorization and to see what I'll have to pay. But in the meantime, she did ask me to order a mouth guard or a night guard for from Amazon so that I um, don't incur any more damage from my grinding. Um, I guess stress is hitting me more than I thought. So um, I did get the night guard. It cost uh, $20.11 and that's gonna come out of our medical fund. Now we're back to today. So today we've got uh, another no spend day. I'm gonna try to push these no spend days as much as I can because I'm worried as to how much dental work I'm gonna need to, to get and how much that's gonna cost. So that's been our week. Um, I only had one unbudgeted expense. So I'll go ahead and put that on the side. It was $1.90. And that was charged right onto my bank card. Um, so it came out of our, um, our rollover. So we're at $1.90 for this week. Let's see how many no spends we have so far. Our goal from the beginning of the month was to have 15 no spend days. We're currently at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So we are two away from hitting our goal and hopefully we can get there uh, before the end of the month. Um, my husband's paycheck should actually, the numbers should post tonight. So I will be on here tomorrow with our actual numbers and then I'll do a cash stuffing on Friday. As always, thank you so very much for taking some time out of your day to watch this video. I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope that you're all having an amazing day. See you soon, <laughs> bye.